Hi folks, Dave and Janice back with you from No Fixed Address. In this episode, we are going wilderness camping. In the middle of nowhere. The middle of freaking nowhere. <laughs> the middle of freaking nowhere. <laughs> Fun? This is where the ATV trip ends and the boat trip begins. You have one job. Now let go of that rope. <laughs> Okie dokie. You want to go soon? Right? Oh, I guess that would mean I'm going harder than my left. Oh, hey, that is your left. No, that's your right. Yeah, so if I pull hard on the right side, right. the other side. That's right. So, so much for that theory. <laughs> Beautiful little lake. Apparently, really good fishing on it. We are fisher people. If you don't want to catch fish, you take me out fishing with you. <laughs> well, if I'm around, they do not bite. Alright, we'll go to the deep area, unload there. Getting closer. I do it. Go ahead. I don't have my Apple Watch on. I'm not burning any calories. <laughs> Getting ripped off. One time I'm not sweeping a floor and it could actually ask me the right question. Are you paddling? Mm -hmm. 
Hi, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Don't leave me here. I'm trusting you. tree that's behind me. Ramming speed. Yeah, I won't come out and done. What time is it? The white water one in the dark can. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh -oh. Class five. No. Anyway, I'll have the white water one in the dark can. It'll come to me. Astrolab? Lab. I just had to see the words and then it would come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's been a long time since we've been on this island. It has been. Have we ever been on it by ourselves? No pigs. Wow. <laughs> Just you and me. Mm -hmm. Think of the things we could do. <laughs> Have a fire. Okay, got to I gotta cut this film right now. style. <laughs> they won't let you do this in state and provincial parks. Nope. Did you cut discs of wax paper? It's not wax paper, it was parchment paper, but yes. <laughs> That's a little over the top. Oh. Those are thick patties. It's not actually as thick as it looks, it's just... Yeah, those are thick patties. <laughs> Watch your footing there. Can't do polls on YouTube anymore. It'd be interesting to know. Are we the only ones that like to toast our buns? <laughs> Hot dog buns, hamburger buns. You can't do polls. No, not anymore. Oh. Got rid of that. Okay. But yeah, like most people don't seem to toast buns. Wow. We've always done it. Mm -hmm. I don't like a. Warm patty on a cold bun. Nope. What kind of cheese is that? 
This is that smoked uh, cheddar. And the other is, um, I can't remember what's the, the spicy stuff we got at. Um, Thurnlow? Thurnlow. Is this Thurnlow cheese? Yeah, both of them are Thurnlow. Hmm. If you guys didn't see our visit to Thurnlow cheese, we'll put a link up above here for it. Excellent cheese. I forgot plates, though, so, so this will be interesting. <laughs> You don't need plates for hamburgers. That's the beauty of hamburgers. I know. But... It looks like we're done. Shall I get the plates? Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot I said that. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Bon appetit. Awesome. I'm having chipotle mayo and barbecue sauce. Where are we going? We're going to look at... A toilet that we made, I don't know, probably 20 years ago? Yeah. Now it's been moved, it's not where it used to be, and whoever moved it didn't go get shit underneath it. But, it's still here. Well, the girls were just little. Yeah, I know. I not have a toilet paper holder like he used to. Why not? I still got the string and the stick. The stick. And I'm not touching. Well, I'll pick up the seat, but. We cut that hole out with a 22 rifle. <laughs> I was going to say, cut. A lot of shots. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So we we did it and the girls came up with this rig mechanism. Yeah, it was some sort of automated thing. Can't remember exactly how it worked. Yeah, I can't remember either. And then there's a the log. Do you remember that log over here? Oh. Yeah. There's the old flag. And the log that's where the toilet paper used to sit on That's top right. of that. That's right, where the string is round around yeah. that. It's still here and people are still using it. Yes. Fire time. We're going to try and get this thing going. We've got two pieces of fat wood that I bought back, I think in January in, in Texas. Texas? Yeah. The hill country. Yes, hill country. And we've got some newspaper from Florida from... January 15th. Yeah. And then we've got some good old Canadian pine twigs. This See stuff's if... like putting gasoline on the fire. Yeah. Pine needles, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's going. So is it the Canadian pine? Or is it the the Florida wood? Florida paper or, or the Texas fatwood? I don't think we really needed the fatwood. Smoke signals? What do they say? <laughs> They're saying we're trying hard to start a fire. Smells good. Mm -hmm. I smell the pine. You know what I like about being out here? What? It's so quiet. It is. All you hear is Animals. animals. Yeah. Birds, fish jumping. And at this time of year, no bugs. Hopefully it stays that way. I think we might have it going. When we got here, I started poking in the fire because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I counted... Ten beer cans in there, a diaper, a chocolate bar wrapper, and then probably 40 cigarette butts. I just don't understand. Take out what you bring in. You had room to bring it in. You have room to take it out. You sound like crotchety old people. <laughs> <laughs> we are crotchety old people. I'm not. I may be crotchety, I'm not old. <laughs> well, not in here. 
So I guess we should tell you a little bit about where we are <laughs> and what we're doing. We are currently on what's known as crown land in Canada. I guess in the States it'd be like BLM land. Yeah, public lands owned by the uh, government. Yeah, basically there's millions and millions of acres of uh, government-owned land across Canada. The bulk of Canada is not populated. And uh, so you can go out on crown land and depending on which crown land, you can camp on it, you can ATV on it, all kinds of different things. There's a, a website you can go to to find out what restrictions there are on various pieces of crown land. And this particular one is not too far away from where we have our trailer right now. and We've been coming here for a long time. Yeah, at least 20 years, probably. No, longer than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. This particular spot. Yes. There's been a number spot. of different places okay. around this area we've camped over the years. and uh, But this is one of our favorites, for yeah. sure. This is a uh, little island. There's actually two islands virtually attached right here. We're on one end of it, and it's just basically a big chunk of granite sticking out of the water. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we have to hop on the ATVs and then do a little bit of a boat. Yeah, driving up the old logging roads initially to get here and, uh, and then a boat. Prior to that though, weren't they, isn't part of the road, the actual road that would go to Pembroke. That's right, yeah. This is an old... Like a hundred years ago. Yeah, hundred year old road. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not a road. It's <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably in the same shape it was a hundred years ago. Probably. But, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's not easy to get to. Um, Which is good. <laughs> yeah, you pack the minimum. So we've got all of our motorcycle camping gear with us, which is small, light, yeah. compact. But fairly comfortable, I mean. Yeah. We, uh, we're obviously roughing it compared to our normal camping <laughs> in the trailer, but uh, we're not really roughing it. No, I mean, we've we got our barbecue. We lawn got... chairs, <laughs> chainsaw. <laughs> Case full or cooler full of beer. Yeah. Yeah. They're not we're not hurting. It's yeah. nice being out here totally isolated away from everybody. Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get some nice shots because usually at this time of the year with the mist mm. rising up off of the up lake. The water, yeah. And, anyway, that's what this video is all about. We're spending a couple of days here and uh, and just checking out for a little bit. <laughs> Glad to have you along. Barbecue is not the best stove. No. But it's working. It's good. You gotta have bacon and eggs when you're camping. <laughs> bacon and eggs when you're camping, and I forgot the plates and a big frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, if all else fails, we'll have canola bars. Just gonna scramble them? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I went it over easy. Uh, <laughs> no. 
not at this uh, bistro. What kind of a restaurant is this anyway? <laughs> That's working. We've got crispy bacon. And the eggs are cooking. And Dave's going to cut up his homemade sourdough bread. And we're going to toast it on the barbecue. How many slices do you want? I'll just have one, please. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. How is it? This is the kitchen sink. Yep. And we don't have dish soap, so we're using body soap. Soap, soap. And then they look at Grace. Yep. Oh, loon flying in there. They only held their sign of civilization. A couple of people came early this morning, started fishing on the lake. You're reading one of those old newspapers? Yep. January 15th. <laughs> Lakeland? Yep. No. White Springs. White Springs. Lake City, Port White, Live Oak, Brentford, Welburn, Jasper, and White Springs. These are some snapping turtle eggs that didn't make it. This whole section here, there's probably seven or eight holes that look like they had snapping turtle eggs buried in them. And something has come along and dug them all up and had a feast. How did Cal And they come in a package of five, so that's why we're cooking five. <laughs> Two for me, three for you. Yeah. They won't go to waste. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ready? Both together. One, two, three, go. Oh. So you have to torture yourself first? Yeah. Want me to splash some water on you? No. Well, cool, not chilly. It's nice. <laughs> there she goes! That's <sighs> refreshing. It's nice. Sunset cruise. Say romantic. <laughs> romantic sunset cruise. How long did you say this lake was? About three kilometers. You gonna take me all the way around it? No. I'll take you around the two islands. <laughs> And the occasional chickadee and cicada. There's 
was where we were earlier. Yep. Maybe underwater clouds. Yeah. Weird, it's on that. Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful day. A little bit of mist on the water out there. Sun has just come up. Today is bug out day. We head back to the trailer. Sleeping Beauty is still in the tent. This is how these sleeping bags are packed. You don't need to roll them. Just keep jamming them into this bag. I hate rolling sleeping bags. And then trying to fit the roll into the bag. That's it. Simple. So we were all packed up and ready to bug out. We are leaving this island in better shape than it was when we got here. That's the way we like it. Hopefully the next people that are here will notice that it's nice and clean. There's no garbage lying around anymore. And uh, they will leave it in the same condition. Because it's a shared resource, so we all got to look after it. So that wraps up our uh, short little two-night wilderness camping trip. And I get to go have a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lake bath this morning. I'm clean as a whistle. Uh, Anyway, thanks for joining us. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. We'd appreciate it. And uh, once you've subscribed, hit that little notification bell so you'll know when we release new videos. Yeah. And leave comments, good or bad. But uh, keep it civil. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us. Thanks. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.